back with my digital tachometer test, or digital tack. Anyways, we're going to be measuring another really, really popular machine uh, to see what its top speed is, and if, according to the calculations here, matches up again with, once again with the specifications. So, I'm gonna ask my assistant here to turn on the machine to the highest setting, or the highest speed, I should say, because, uh, some of these machines will give you the hertz of speed and some just give you the speed levels. So looking at my device here, I am seeing right now 598, 594, 600, 599, 97, 98, 600. Yeah, you know, it's like somewhere between 599, 600, regardless. All right, we got a pretty good measurement here. So, I turn this off and break out my handy calculator. Let's do, given the benefit of the doubt, we'll do uh, 600, just for some nice even math. Divide this over 60 seconds. And we have 10 hertz, or 10 cycles per second. So, um, in general, these types of machines um, that are sold by different types of companies, um, but this particular model of machine um, that comes out of a certain manufacturer, uh, usually you'll see this type of machine um, marketed for somewhere around a top speed of maybe, um, it depends, again, on the company, but 30 to 40-ish hertz is what the claim is and specification. Um, but uh, right here we're actually mapping as the highest speed, uh, 10 hertz. So... That's a pretty big discrepancy. This is really not unusual, though, for most of the pivotals I've tested out there, which were really a, a great number of them. It's usually hovering around like 11 hertz, 12 hertz, 10 hertz, 9 hertz, somewhere within that range as a max speed. And in general, those numbers are being inflated by about 20 to 30, give or take. So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll do more tests after this.